Okay, we're rolling. So welcome, welcome to another week, our last, actually our last Wisdom Weekly of 2020. Since next uh, Friday is Christmas and the Friday after that is New Year's Day, we will not be oh. having another Wisdom Weekly for, uh, well, I guess that's three weeks, three weeks from today. So January 8th, January 8th. And don't miss January 8th because we're going to have a special New Year's kickoff call um, for our Wisdom Builders team. With that being said, let me share you share with you the top 20 and I'm going to turn it over to Marjorie like lickety split. Um, and while I'm pulling this up on my screen, just a reminder for everybody that we have January 30th rally tickets are free. I've talked to several people that are registering people and registering prospects and registering club members. Obviously, they had agreed to watch and registering promoters. And it's going to be a fantastic event, January 30th. Hopefully, it's already marked on your calendars, Saturday, um, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Pacific, I believe it is, with the half hour lunch break or something like that. So, you want to block out those hours of the day maybe get some of your team or uh, club members or whoever to come over to the house and watch it with you. And uh, really excited about that. And the new year that is just right around the corner, super pumped. Um, also top 20, it looks like Wisdom Builders is holding down nine of the top 20 spots. Congratulations, that's 45% of the North American leaderboard held by you all. And ninth pl 19th place, Don Anderson. 25 points. We've got Bill and Sarah Pierce in 18th with 25 points as well. Joel and Gabby Merritt in 17th with 26. Chelsea Clark, 13th place with 28 points. And Rebecca and State Stacy, Casey, sorry, Casey. Rebecca, try it again. Rebecca and Casey Williams in 11th place with 28 points. Uh, Brian and Micah Stinnett in top 10, 10th place with 33. Nicole and myself in ninth place with 34. Jen and Matt Case, eighth place with 35. And leading the pack out in front, number one, Catherine and Elisha Votberg, 148. With that, I am super excited to stop sharing my screen and introduce uh, the founder of the Wisdom Builders team, uh, Nicole and I sponsor our upline, our business partner, the one that shared Neo Life with us. And um, I don't see her on the call. Marjorie, are you here? No, I don't see her. Well, maybe I won't introduce her just yet. Josh, you have anything to add? Um, hang on one second. Let talk about rally for a moment, or I could, or but let's because uh, let's find out what's happening with mom. I know she is ready. I called in and checked with her earlier, so um, I'll let she you is fired I, up. I just got done talking about rally, but I'll let you add whatever you'd like to add about rally, and I'll check with her if that's okay. Since you know perfect, more about rally, perfect. you know more about rally than I do. That sounds great. All right, hey folks, I am. Uh, I am driving back right now, but I, I think I have a good signal. Um, mom, by the way, mom is excited. I'm excited uh, to have her join us today as well. But while we're waiting on her, um, let me uh, speak to Rally for a moment. We already have an incredible, we have, let's see, we have, I believe, over 400 people registered for Rally already. Um, I am, I, I told, I told our team, I told her, um, and uh, what I'll tell you, let's set our sights. Let's let's really set a big goal. I'll tell you what I told him. I told him. He said, "How many people do we want there?" I said, two thousand people." And uh, he said, two thousand." I said, "Well, we want the largest event we've ever had within North America." And uh, I'll tell you this: I'm determined that we're going to get over a thousand. Um, but uh, and I know that registration goes quickly. You get a lot of numbers of the faithful. But uh, I want to challenge uh, you and me and all of us to really go for it. We've never done this before. We've never made this free and given away so much as we are. And it's not like this will just be over Zoom. We're building a stage. Uh, we, we really want to do everything we can 
to uh, to give the best re- presentation, you know, representation of a rally that we can, while um, you know, while still keeping it online, keeping it affordable for everybody, which is free. So, also, I'm excited to tell you, I've got two SAB speakers. I'll tell you who they are. I've got John Miller and Dr. Applegate, and then I have so- an, a- another doctor that I'm not going to tell you about yet because we're going to talk to the world team and the in- international presence team. On um, December 30th in a huddle, we're going to share. So I'm kind of telling you something I haven't told anybody. I'm telling everybody um, that is all of you on Wisdom Builder, something I haven't told anybody. But we have a doctor that I'm super excited to uh, to introduce first to World Team and IPT. And then you're going to get to hear this person at rally. So you're going to hear more about about this individual um, as we continue to um, share information over the uh, coming weeks about rally. But this is going to be it's going to be a really incredible day, and I'll tell you this: you're going to want you're going to have every reason to have people, even club members, there all day. Okay, and I am going to have some speakers talk about um, the, uh, the the business, um, and uh, it's going to be very tastefully done. Um, for us, it's going to start with uh, you're going to hear from Kendra Brassfield right out of the gate talking about the uh, the mission that we have. Uh, I'm going to pause just for a second. Alan, do we have any update? Do we get a hold of her? Yes, she, I got, I got all, yeah, she's trying to get her power. I guess she's, a. I just changed George to Marjorie Clark. So that she's on the one that says Marjorie Clark, but they're trying to get the PowerPoint squared away and they're still working on it. Okay. So what I'm going to ask you to do, mom, uh, when, when you're ready, just, just speak right up. Um, just interrupt me because because I'm giving away a little more than I wanted to give away. But I, I, it's good. It's good. So two SAB members, a doctor is a third person. Um, I'm going to divide that between the morning and the afternoon because I want to have a reason for everybody to be engaged. And at the same time, I want them to get more than they expected. Let me share something here. People, this is a a tip for me and for you, for all of us. Don't forget that people that could be the best business builders aren't waving a sign saying, I'm looking for Neolife. You know, mom and dad shared Alan and shared Neolife with Alan and Nicole, right, all those years ago. But I'm proud to have brought them into the business, right, um, back several years ago. And, you know, Alan wasn't waving a sign and Nicole weren't standing there for a business, right? I mean, they were just had referred to some other people. Great example, they weren't saying I'm looking for something. In fact, Alan was doing better than he'd ever been doing, right? And so I want to remind us that you're going to invite people to rally that you know you'd love to work with them. You know their values. You know what they're about like I knew Alan and Nicole. And I had reason to believe that they'd be perfect for this business. I had reason to believe that they needed to get to convention. So I want to encourage you. Josh, you're breaking up really bad if you can hear me. Judge, I know you know this, but we do. I'm going to go ahead and mute Josh because he can't hear me. And I think what he's trying to say is, um, from what I can tell. Alan, I you there? Yeah. Yeah, you were breaking up really bad, so I muted you. Can you hear Hang me? On, I got it. I'm up a second. Okay. Can you hear me, Alan? Yes, sir. Yes. So anyway, what Josh was trying to say is I was not looking for a business six years ago when he first approached me. And this is in the context of rally, right? I was not looking for a business. In fact, when he asked me if I was open, it was like, no, I'm not really open. And when he says I was doing better than I ever have, he just means financially. I wasn't doing better than I ever was in my marriage. I wasn't doing better than I ever was in my parenting. I wasn't doing better than I ever was in my health or in my Uh, other issues that I had going on in my life at the time, but nobody knew that. Nobody knew that. And so when he said I was doing better than I ever was financially only. And so, and that's the thing is we only see the outer layer of everybody and we don't know what all's really going on. 
And because Josh took the time to invite me to the business six and a half years ago, seven years ago, and continued to not nag and bug, but drip on me, I'll use in a loving, caring way periodically over the months and the year and a half that followed, it got me to show up at a convention with Nicole in March of 2015, which all that built upon itself and caused us to jump into the business. And here we are. So all I think Josh was trying to say is, hi, Marjorie. All Josh was trying to say there is don't prejudge. We have a great opportunity to invite anybody and everybody to a free event that's online. They can watch from anywhere in the world on July, on January 30th. So let's do it. Marjorie, over to you. Well, thank you. And thank you for sharing. When I think about persevering, which is something you have to do on a regular basis, I think of a lot of the stuff you went through. And I think if Alan can go through that, I can keep going through what I go through. So thank you for persevering, Alan. So, okay. So I'm going to share my screen. Oh, oh, I'm not very good at sharing screens, which has been my downfall this year. Okay, and using Zoom. Okay, so, you know, when you have a lot of hats, you have to switch. You know, one of the things I see with people is when they want to build a business, they're sometimes they're afraid to build a business because they feel like they have too much to do. And women sometimes feel like they can't, I guess you could say switch tracks or switch all the hats they have to carry and do. and. I'm going to speak mostly from a woman's perspective. Um, so I absolutely love the Getting Started Guide. And I try once a year to go through it to remind myself of the basics. Because if you don't have a good hold on the basics, then you it makes it more difficult to capture all the opportunities that God brings across your path. So can you all see the whole screen? Yes. Well, you know, you need to you need it to go to the very bottom. You need to hit the presentation mode so we're not distracted by all the side screens. Yeah. Okay. Side slides. Where do I do that? At the very bottom. Very bottom. Oops. Toward the right. You see the little, that little. No right. Go right. Go right. Go right. Right next to the seventy-four percent to the yeah, left. There of the you go. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Did that work? It will if you click on it. Uh, just hit okay. Oh. There you go. Perfect. Oh, but how do I change pages? Now you just hit the arrow button. I think this is really good, Mom. I think it's encouraging for everyone. That's great. <laughs> um, just hit the, we've all been here. Now hit the button to the, oh. there you go. I didn't want to go that way. Well, hit the other arrow key. I don't see an arrow key. I was using On your keyboard. Time. Use your keyboard. Oh, my keyboard. Okay. okay. There you go. So when Josh did an evaluation of me as a president's team member, uh, as you can see, this is where I failed right here <laughs> for the last year. Um, but can you see all the pictures on the side? Yes. I want to get rid of them. I need to get. If we see all the bullets. Ooh. I'm sorry. Okay. The benefits. Uh, did I get rid of all the little. Marjorie, all the little thumbnails on the side that you may be able to see, we cannot see. All we see is a full screen view of the Getting oh, okay. Started Guide. Because the little side things are bothering me. We can't see that. Okay. So I don't want to miss out on any essential ingredients for success. And that's what I look at the Getting Started Guide as. I have so many little uh, responsibilities in running our business and then also having 10 children and 16 and 17 soon to be grandchildren that and just goals that I want to be able to efficiently handle my business and make promoters and make directors and so when I'm and when I'm talking to people let's say y'all send me somebody to talk to about nutrition I, they open up a lot. And so I don't, I don't want to miss signals that are being sent to me about business because that's not helping you if I can't change hats in the middle of a conversation. So this getting started guide is the basics. And if you can't do the basics, well, you miss out on a lot of building. And um, so, okay, you see the benefits on the right. These are just think first off, the getting started guide is applicable for members and promoters. So I can use it for both. I just use it a little bit different. 
I love that all the basics are in one spot. I have so many things that I need to be thinking on that I need to categorize what I do. And I cannot be rethinking basics over and over. I need them in one spot. It gives me more confidence when I can handle it right. Um, it gives me, it, it allows conversations to come up as you're going through a getting started guide or even if you apply a getting started guide, even if you don't have the book in front of you, it allows opportunities and reminders for starting conversations for sometimes those hard questions that we have a hard time asking. Um, and as I said before, it lets me change hats from one role to the other and get back where I was before without losing much time. It keeps everybody focused and I like to go through it every year. So, what I basically did is we're just going to slide through all the pages because here's okay sometimes I want to skip and go to the part I want to go to but you know one important thing when they study cell psychology and what a person needs to start they need to know who is the company they need to know can they trust this company they need to know that almost they may trust you first but they're not going to stay if they can't trust the company and they're not going to build if they can't trust the company. And so this page is just a good reminder that you're not that they need the reminder that you're not in business. Um, you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. And and basically, I just say this is just some of the top people working for you. And then I'll pick out a few people here and say something about them like like I said, you really need to hear Jerry Brassfield give a talk. And when, you, and when you listen to him, he usually has one main point he's going after. And you don't want to miss that main point. Because I remember, I, I still remember 10 years ago, one main talk for an entire talk was talk to two people a day. I mean, that sounds really simple to say, but it was graphically put in my mind. And Kendra oh my goodness she's a ceo that is after personal development and she has changed so much and she's going to keep changing in such a way that keeps us a viable growing company and i just love seeing what she's uh just the how would you say just how tremendously she's grown and that just gives hope for everybody so and culture you know we talk about at wisdom builders retreats about the wisdom builder culture and you want to build a business um, with a company, with a team that has the same values as you. And one thing I really love about the Neolife culture is that I'm not going to be embarrassed by this company. And you want your people to know that when they uh, commit to building a business, that they don't have to worry about being embarrassed. Um, their, their science, the way they run their company is just impeccable. Um, just that people need people. Um, you know, when I studied centenarians years ago, one of the aspects is their social interaction. And so as I'm going into my, oh my goodness, my last third of life, if, if I'm going to make it to be a centenarian, I love the fact that Neolife gives me social interaction. I mean, I, I would do Neolife just for that. Um, so, and how about the, I mean, a table of contents. I mean, on one hand, sometimes I think who looks at a table of contents, but it's right here. So if you ever feel off track, you just open up the table of contents, skim it, and just make sure you're not missing any ingredients that you need for success. Um, you know, this page is like hot buttons for people. If you need uh, ideas and, and maybe you need to formulate some thoughts on how you what magnets you need to draw someone well some of these points will really help promoters and even members really want to build a business and just i mean it crosses all decades but everybody needs a tax donation a tax deduction <laughs> um this is just a reminder um, at the Wisdom Builder Retreat in the manual at the back, we put Wisdom Builders resources. And so this is a great place when you're going through not only right on the left here. Can y'all see my mouse when I wiggle it? Well, I hope so. Anyway, yes, so we can. Okay, so on the left is, is Neolife uh, resources that you want to go through with them. And at the same time, you can use it 
to help them become members of Facebook groups, especially that Neo Life Healthy Living Community, Wisdom Builders, the Ideal Business, etc. Um, you know, on this page for the why and goals, it's not just for a new promoter, it's for both of you. Because if you understand your promoters why, it puts you in place of helping them support them and going after their why and goals so they don't feel that you're just pushing your agenda. And if they become discouraged, it, it gives you a way that is non-threatening that you can encourage them in those whys and goals. And, and where they can think, do I have another way I can achieve these goals? And I'll just bring them back to Neolife. Actually, I do that to myself. If I get discouraged, I know that Neolife is my vehicle for meeting my goals for life. And I, I'm not going anywhere else. Um, this is basically just a director doorway. Um, statistics show that everyone thinks they need more money, no matter what financial bracket they're in. And this actually just helps them grasp um, that, that, is, uh, that it can be real. And at the bottom here, you see the three daily success habits. And then they spend the next couple pages talking about how helping your new promoter or member. I mostly use this for promoters. Um, late, I'll show you where I start a member actually. And then I might backtrack backwards. But on the use of products, it's easy for them, a new person to get lost in all the Neolife products. What is there, a hundred or more? And this paints a simple picture for them to see and feel like they have a grasp of what's happening. So this is a, just a good one page summary for a new person and then they don't need, um, they can go out and share. I mean, building a business is not dependent on how much you know, because I know a lot about nutrition, but I also realize that is not what builds a business. It absolutely is not. It's having an understanding really of that of the inviting formula and using it because you can know a lot and nobody's going to beat a path to your door to ask you what you know. You have to get out there and be boldly active. So a list of names, it just, um, it just simplifies what helping them understand what needs to be done. Um, basically it just helps you be intentional and organized. And, and this is where you see down here at the bottom where it has uh, this link. I mean, you, you can find them yourself, but one thing I really love about the Getting Started Guide is that there are in the, Josh has put in the back office, there's actually videos going through certain parts of the Getting Started Guide, like um, how to know your why and how to make a list of names and I think I had it. Didn't I have it on this page before? Yeah, there it is. There's a video for that on knowing your why. And then, and that's important because it lets, you can communicate with your words to a new promoter or a new member, but these videos are concise and efficient. And Josh has done a set of them and Alan's done a set of them. And you just, Alan can maybe wherever this is posted, Alan, you could put a link to your YouTube that has these kinds of videos that would relate to the getting started guide. And then Josh's are just linked in the back office under resources. Um, but anyway, it gives them two, a couple of different ways to hear communication about the same topic and the importance of a list of names. I, I like relying on tools and not having to do all the communicating myself. Um, okay, if you go to a Wisdom Builders retreat, you know that we consider practicing on your story to be critically important. And so we start our first evening with training on your story and improving it. And here with the new person, um, it helps them start thinking about that story. And even if they don't really have a story, because a lot of times new people don't have a story, so they're using other people's stories, 
all they have to say is a simple line is I'm taking this to protect me from not getting health problems or I'm taking this to help me with my health problems. I mean, that's the only story they need right now. And they can develop their story more as they go on, uh, as they've had more time. Uh, every, you know, there's a variety of ways that we can share our business and they list some of them on this page. So it encourages someone that there are multiple ways and they can pick one that fits their lifestyle. And it talks about personal development and you have to be more to make more. And I think that pretty much, you know, explains that. And I mean, this commit to success guide is really incredible. And I hope I got it down and kind of how Chad said it, but I'll never forget three or four years ago at Hinton when we had a retreat there, um, Chad stood in front and he talked about all you needed to build a business was a commit to success sheet and a tracker. And that just stuck in my mind. I mean, here he mentors people who earn a half million or more and yet he and he was able to concisely put it down to two sheets. And one thing I particularly like is if I'm going to do something important and I need to follow something that's daily, I want it narrowed down to one sheet. Because when pe some studies have shown that when you go beyond one sheet, that people start getting lost in all the sheets. So the most important things to do, you want to see if you can narrow it down to one sheet. Um, so now this is, I love, this is probably my favorite out of the whole book. I mean, not that it's everything. I mean, you need a why and all that, but like new members, I find that new members, okay, well, I'm mostly, it's usually women that I'm asking this question of men seem a little more, uh, I don't know, flexible in this or something, but one of the things that stops women is they're afraid they don't want to lose their friends and they're afraid they're going to say the wrong thing. And I love this four step inviting formula because it's concise. It's only four things. It's kind of like taking the pro vitality. It has four capsules and pills that are essential. If that's all you can do. Well, the four step inviting formula has four steps. If that's all you can do. And even, even new members, they can start right out of the bat. If you look down here at the bottom, they don't even have to learn the four step inviting formula per se. All they have to listen for is a need and then say, in light of you sharing about such and such, if I shared with you a video, would you listen to it? That's, if I would you, that's all they have to do. But I usually add that in light of what you just said. I mean, yesterday I was at the dentist's office and the receptionist, it was pretty funny, I was checking out, and she took a fan, all of a sudden she starts fanning herself, and I'm thinking, this is winter, and I have a down coat that I'm going to walk outside in, and she starts fanning, and she picks up a motorized fan, and she puts it in her face, and she turns it on, and then she kind of looks embarrassed, and she goes, hot flash, and I said, oh, she gave me her need right there, right in front of me, and so I said, wow, I said, um, you know, I was really afraid to go through menopause. I was really afraid of having a lot of consequences because of one adrenal and one kidney. And, and she'd already seen my doctor paperwork. And so she said, I wondered how you lost a kidney spleen and adrenal. And I told her it was a sledding accident. And then I talked about tree and in, just tree and in. I said, well, in light of, you know, your uh, hot flashes, if I sent you a, a sheet and a video on this tree and then that supported me in going through menopause, I said, would you listen and read to it? Yes, she said, yes. And that's pretty much all I had to do is pretty simple. Um, so I just wanted to mention a few things about this getting this four step inviting formula that I keep in mind that's kind of, as you could say, is like the small print between the numbers that's invisible. So, you know, connecting, one thing about connecting is you're not grilling somebody. You're just, you're just establishing a rapport. And once you feel like there's a connection, which it, people just kind of know when they connect, well, when you're discovering a need, you can ask deeper questions that lead into the need. And, and when they, 
you know, come up with a need, you can say more things, you can ask deeper questions. Um, but once I know their need, I verify it because I find that sometimes we think we heard what somebody said, but we didn't hear what they said. And you want them to agree with you that you heard right. So that's why I have put in, if you see, you know, when I said in light of, if I want to quote, kill two birds with one stone, I don't just say, if I share this, I usually use as a verification that I really heard of in light of you saying such and such. And as I'm saying it, you can, they'll, they're going to correct me if I got it wrong anyway. Um, so that's an important thing to me that I verify that I really heard right. And, and then you can invite and then follow up. I'm not going to go into that. Um, if, if I had a weakness, and, and you should look at the inviting formula and figure out where your weakness is. I mean, the more I practice, I used to feel like I had a hard time going from discovering the need to inviting. But when I added in the in light of, now I'm comfortable, I don't have any problem doing it, and I almost always get a yes. My hard part is I still need to work on following up. Sometimes I just drop the ball too much. I meet new people all the time. They want to learn more and I drop the ball. That's my weakness. And so figure out where your weakness is and then come up with solutions that work on that. I mean, for me, the follow up, you know, Alan's talked about this notebook he uses and I've been meaning to use it and I haven't. And in a, so in going through this, getting started guide. I try to do it once a year, as I said, I'm realizing I need to make better steps for my follow up to not as a safety net. So anyway, figure out where your your weakness is. Um, this is just a reminder I put in here on the different videos. Um, this I um, as I'm working with somebody, I'll send I don't send them all the links to the getting started guide because sometimes people feel overwhelmed. So I try to just send one a week or as we're working or slowly working through um, helping them work towards maybe first senior manager and then a director. Um, I just send them out here and there. I don't, some people can take being overwhelmed. They want, I don't mean take being overwhelmed, but they, they don't mind getting the whole set and they realize that they don't feel pressure from it. They're just going to listen to them as they can. I just happen to like, I'd rather have it all at once, put it in a, in a, in a location, and then I know where to go. I like to be organized all in one lump set. Um, anyway, thank you again to Josh and Alan for doing these videos. They've been amazing in training people. And I just want a reminder to all of y'all to make sure that you're taking advantage of all the hard work and, and, and conciseness that they did. So Okay, so this is different ways to be applying um, the inviting formula. And I just love that they're scripts. So people, people want to feel comfortable that they don't have to reinvent the wheel. And even what's in the getting started guide, what I love in wisdom builders is that there are scripts after scripts after scripts that different people in our team have, have, have um, posted. And which encourages people, they don't need to reinvent the wheel, that they only need to say a few words. And even those words, you know, are a script. So there's scripts in here for the inviting product, for inviting for business. So don't reinvent. Um, and I think this is important all the way through. And this reminds me that Josh recently did a video this past week on three important um, aspects for um, building a big business. And I just want to say that when I listen, you know, I have to categorize. I have so many topics in my life and most of y'all do, like some of you have young children or some of y'all might be homeschooling and some of y'all are building a business at the same time. And you have other things that maybe you might be heads of committees for certain things in your church or whatever. That's a lot of hats to switch between. And so when I listen to a video, I try to think, what do I do with this? Where do I file it in my mental organization so I don't lose track of it? And so like Josh has actually touched on the Getting Started Guide, and he did talk about um, sharing your vision with enthusiasm. 
And of course that would fit into the why and the goals. And then, oh my goodness, I forgot what the second one is right now. But the third one, which is why I'm stopping here, is he talked about giving sincere compliments. So this is really, everyone loves compliments because I mean, obviously, you know, there's so many negative people usually in, and most of us have those kinds of people in our lives. A lot of people are in businesses and work where they're torn down instead of built up. And that's a wonderful thing about our Wisdom Builders team is how, I just love how all of y'all are so wonderful in giving sincere compliments. And here's just a guide. It's just a good reminder on how to do it in a gracious way. Um, this one's being used for inviting, but just that reminder to be giving compliments, sincere compliments and um action then of course you know you can learn all this but you have to take action um because that taking action is the duplicatable part otherwise you're not going to duplicate and then i found some for ending for taking action um, i just liked some of these quotes an investment in knowledge pays the best interest of course you got to go do it after and i love you know in in going through the getting started guide this is designed in such a way that you it, it's things that you have to take action. And so that's why you have to go over and over and over to make sure it's actually so much a part of you that the getting started guard getting started guide is what I said a part of you. So the education you're going to get from it is only what remains after you've forgotten. And what remains is what you're actually going to get to work with. So you want to practice and then relearn and practice and keep adding to it, which is why I categorize new things I listen to. Where does this fit in the Getting Started Guide? Um, and of course, Jim Rohn, we're all familiar with him. Don't let your learning lead to knowledge, let your learning lead to action. And so to me, this Getting Started Guide, if we're gonna build big businesses, if we're gonna be duplicatable, if we're going to care about and help others, we need to have a grasp, not only just ourselves on the Getting Started Guide, but making sure that the people who want to build a director understand the Getting Started Guide. And probably if someone's serious about building to director, before you get together to go through the Getting Started Guide, I would ask them to start thinking about what is your why? Because, and I've also, it helps me, this getting started guide, if they're not willing to go through it, or they get, don't have a, you're going to find out whether they have a big enough why, whether you should keep investing your time into moving towards them being a director. Because going through this guide has really helped me so much, not keep spending time with people who really don't have a big enough why. So anyway, that's all I have to say. And I just want to say a big thank you to Josh and Alan for all they've done. I want to give a thank you to Lawrence who actually helped make this talk uh, more concise and more logically flowing. <laughs> so that's it. Mom, thank you so much for the time you put into this. And yes, please thank dad. Appreciate you um, boiling it down and bringing highlights out of it um, to share. And I hope that it, and I'm certain it did encourage people to uh, to go over this getting started guide with their new with their new promoters. And every time they do it, I like what you said. It's not only for them; it's for you too. And every time I go over it, I'm I'm reminded of what you just said. It is for me. I need to hear it. I need to go back to one, two, three. How simple the three daily success habits are. Um, starting as you said with the why, your motivating reason for building. It's so much fun too, helping others find theirs. And as you're, as you're talking to others about what their goals, what their whys are, it's, it's, it helps you dream again. It's like, what, Levi asked me the other day, he said, why do older people like to be around younger people? Because <laughs> uh, I was telling him that, you know, I like to be around older people. My best friends oftentimes are older than me. And so he had a good question. Well, why is that? Why would an older person like to be around a younger person? And <laughs> all of a sudden, you know, I had to stop and think about that one. You know, I love <laughs> kids' questions. But uh, I said, well, part of it is they want to give back if they're a, a, a good person who understands that the best contribution they'll make in life is how they contribute to others, then, then they want to mentor and others that are younger. So number one, but that's one. Number two is they like the energy oftentimes that young people have. 
And it reminds me, it's a long way of saying, it reminds me of when I'm going over and helping a new promoter find their why and helping them dream again. Once I get them dreaming, once I get through the rust and the crust, you know, of having not dreamed for a long time or even been asked those questions, and then I watch them come alive and dream again and have permission to dream, you know, it's like seeing that youthfulness, you know, in a, in a young person, in a child. And then I get all fired up again as if I just got into business again for my first time. So anyway, thanks, mom. Such good stuff there. Why don't we um, open it up? I know we're a few minutes. Um, it's, it's amazing, mom. We got a bit of a late start. And I know you were dealing with a challenge, which we've all encountered. It made us all feel good and better about our own challenges that come along uh, with technology. Uh, I've done tons and tons of them. And then all of a sudden, I still get my feet knocked out from underneath me every now and then. And then I'm just sweating and stressed and, and all that about it. And you just reminded us, if, if you can do it, we can do it. But obviously, you didn't come along at winging it either. It's not like you just came on here winging and grabbed a guide at the last second and said, well, you know, let's, let's wing our way through this. You obviously came very prepared, even though you had a little technology mishap. So thank you, Mom. You showed us both sides of uh, professionalism. <laughs> uh, with that said, though, though, you got it done in a very concise amount of time. But let's open it up for, for any comments, uh, any feedback anybody would like to give before we close it out. Thank you for a reminder of being back to the basics, because in everything, we need to remember the basics of what we're doing. Thank you. Well said, Scott. Anyone else, comments, feedback? Speak up now or forever hold your peace until the new year. <laughs> Marjorie, thank you so much for sharing. I will just confess in front of everyone that I've honestly never opened that book and that's terrible. I'm gonna go find it right now and look through it. So thank you so much for sharing with us today. Thank you. Agreed, thank you, Marjorie. It was, it was uh, very thought out, well-delivered, important information and a very simple easy to understand manner. I loved it. Um, love hearing it. And the only thing I would add, <clears throat> excuse me, is when you talked about the list of names, I've just been more and more impressed with um, the importance of making a list of names. And I do it periodically. And every time I do, I'm so much more efficient and effective. It's like, yeah, I've got all the names in my phone. Yeah, I've got all the names on Facebook for in request or uh, my Facebook friends or Instagram followers or whatever, but out of sight, out of mind. And there is something about going through that list and putting it down on paper and then actually working the list. So I love that you spent a little bit of time on list of names. Thank you. Oh, one more thing about list of names. Uh, can y'all hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. So when I go through, when I make a list of names, then I, I don't, I forget sometimes, but I try to write out to the side of them, do, have they ever mentioned a need to me? I don't want to, because, and then I'll usually go to the ones first that have already in the past that I'm aware of a need. Now, I don't call them up and immediately mention the need. You go through the connect, you know, and let them bring them around. But I have, I have, I have a goal in that conversation. And that's to get them to tell me that need again, verbally say it again that I already know so that we can agree right there together and then I can go on. And even, one thing I do love about that inviting formula when it comes to your list of names is that no matter how well I know them, I love how this applies to every area of life. When I, I have a few really, really close friends who aren't in Neil life, but I've been friends with them for decades and decades. But when I call them up, I love the inviting phone because it reminds me connect. So I don't, because they're my close friend and they would listen to me first if I wanted to share first, I don't share my need first. I go, I, go, I get them, I connect with them first. I, get, I ask about them. I ask about all their kids. I, I still go through a connect every time. And I just love it. It makes me a better friend. You know, for neo life or not, I'm a better friend to people because I start with getting them to talk about themselves first. And um, anyways, I, I got back to the inviting formula, but 
But when you make your list, what need do you already know about them? Put little notes out to the side so that that list of names is more effective and then you're more focused and confident in calling them up. Thank you, mom. Anyone else have any comments? Uh, Julia, I think I saw you were unmuted there for a second. You know, I always have something to say. Um, and I love to hear it. I, <laughs> I have literally put Neolife on the back burner for the past year, just for multiple reasons, um, and the success team. But um, I feel like I'm finally getting, like, standing on both my feet. So I today decided, I actually had this... Um, decision a couple of days ago, but I actually did it today. I signed up for the, uh, the next success team, which was really hard for me, but I'm going to do it and I'm committed to do it. And I told my husband and my children this week that mommy is going to be building her Neolife business. I haven't said a word on Facebook about Neolife. I've literally just kept it to myself. Um, but with that, I have really been getting, in, um, getting some good relationships with some ladies in my community and just naturally sharing Neolife. And I, ha I've, this week I have been sharing Neolife, just people coming to me and asking me, what is it that you said about this? What did you say about that? So I feel like I'm kind of finding a new way to share, which has been, I've been at a loss lately with it. So um, I just want to say thank you, Marjorie, for the Getting Starting Guide reminder, because I totally am going to be doing that because it's perfect timing. So thank you. And the, the rally, I'm excited about that too. Julia, thanks for sharing. Um, and, and I didn't, I always love to hear whatever you have to say, but I didn't, I didn't even know it was like game changer. <laughs> so that's awesome. So glad to, I love this business that, you know, people can take a, take a break and uh, yeah, your checks kept rolling in and um, through different seasons of life, but it sure is great to, great to have you head, starting a new decade together, all of us together, new year, a new decade, um, exciting times. Anyone else? Sure. I did keep getting paid, just not as much. So that's another motivation. So. Yeah, that's great. Let's add some zeros. Uh, anyone else? Okay, I think I saw a couple of people that unmuted, but um, all right. Well, it's getting near the end of our lunch hour here on the uh, East Coast. Um, if we haven't gone full-time yet, Neolife, um, not that that's everyone's goal anyway. So we wanna make sure that we keep this uh, confined the time. So I just wanna, on um, behalf of everyone and uh, Alan and mom may wanna say something to you. I just wanna say happy, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I agree with mom. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. And I really hardly wanna try to communicate it cause I don't, there's no way to communicate how much I appreciate, not just what you do and how you contribute to ending the trend and how you contributed to the growth this past year, but I just, I appreciate if you do hear the video that, uh, that, that I did the other day uh, that mom alluded to, I sure appreciate the community that's, that we've built together, that no single person, I mean, in other words, uh, not, not me, um, not, not mom and dad, not Alan and Nicole, this is not anything that we could have built individually or even the three of us together. It's something that everyone here built and it's just a beautiful thing. And I'm so grateful and that every one of your faces and and when I look at your names here that are with us and those who aren't and will watch this video later, thank you so much for pushing through a challenging year, ups and downs, and um, yet keeping hope and sharing hope with others. And uh, that's what this community is, is just so invaluable, the way we encourage one another. And Chris, you're a great example of that. I just left a note there to you. I just felt inspired to tell you. I just saw your comment. So everyone's, I appreciate it. But um, just, just felt... It, led and inspired to give you a shout out and just say, Chris, you are so good. I just noticed it twice this past week. And, and, and I know you do it a lot more than twice in a week, but you are really good at giving feedback and letting people know that you appreciate them. Thanks for doing that, Chris. I pray that you get encouraged and uplifted in the same way through your team and sideline and everyone else um, as well. Thank you for going out there and contributing um, through this platform as well. So, um, I know you'll hear it and you'll hear more and more of it, I pray. Thank you, appreciate you. Alan? That's all I had, Josh. Thank you again, Marjorie. Thank you.
Thanks, Mom. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, y'all. See you at the rally. See you if you're world team and IPT. Make sure you join us when you get that email invitation for the huddle. The huddle is just only for world team and IPT. But if you're a world team on our team um, in the company, make sure you're at that huddle. Otherwise, I'm looking forward to the first leadership call of the new year. By the way, Monday's leadership call is going to be great. It's going to be great. I'm really excited to get into some things with Nada that's more than just her story. We're going to get into some things really good to position us for the new year. The following week, um, we're going to hear a replay of Alan and Nicole Blaine talking about building without meetings. And then the first of the year, um, really excited first leadership call. We're going to talk about incentives. Got some new stuff to share with you. I'm really excited about. Make sure you're there. You got your pen and paper and you're ready to dream. It'll, it, I'll, I'll, it'll support the goals and dreams that you talk, that you, that you write down and the plans you put together over Christmas and the new year. I hope you get away like Chelsea and I will. We're going to get away for one night, just her and I, and we're going to be focused on that getaway. And we got a wedding and all kinds of stuff. It's going to be a busy um, period, but we will not miss that. I hope you'll do the same. Take a little time to look back over the previous year, plan ahead for the new year. And then I'm going to come along and support that with the first leadership call of the new year. Some incentives, cash and travel and all that. Make sure we're crystal clear on what we need to do to reap all those rewards and help our team reach it as well. So that's what's coming up. See you guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.